I internet people. So the swerve title is probably making you think that I'm doing a reaction video, right? Because most of my swerve videos are reaction videos. This time, no. Uh, swerve series slash Skeleton Key Productions films, Skeleton Key films, is running a contest. So in this contest, to enter, you have to say what swerve means to you what you like most about the series, how you found the series, and some of your series predictions. So this is actually, one, me telling you about the contest, and two, me entering the contest. So it's like a two-for-one special sort of deal. Um, if you do enter, you can win a very cool Swerve prize pack, grand prize thing, um, and then there are going to be five first place winners. So like grand prize and then five first place. And the five first place winners, I believe, get a poster. Um, there are a bunch of deadlines and things from Starry Mag, which, um, Krista, who I know, she wrote up the rules, Starry Mag tweeted out the article earlier this week. What day was that? Wednesday. They tweeted out the article on Wednesday and a tweet with a uh, description of the prizes and stuff. Um, so there's disclaimers and all of that. So there you go. Additional promotion. There, it's all in there. I've linked the article below so you can enter and find it because there is a deadline. Um, it's a little ways away. You're okay. I have posted this with a little bit of time for you to make sure that you get your stuff in. All right, so what Swerve means to me. Swerve series actually helped me find a number of amazing people who I am very proud to call friends. During season one, I watched and tweeted all of the episodes with my friends. Um, it was very, very cool. Uh, Rachel and Sheila, who we had met on Twitter before, but Swerve was the first time we watched a show as it was coming out together. So Rachel, Sheila, and I became the Swerve trifecta. There were gifts. Um, we still talk. We still actually technically have a group chat that we sometimes talk to each other in called the trifecta. Um, but it was very cool to meet them. I actually wound up meeting Rachel in person at Clexicon and we like stayed together. And it was really cool. Um, so it was really awesome to meet them and to build that connection. And then this season, I was able to connect with a ton of people who now we're calling Ghost Fam because Corey lived, then died, and lives again through Swerve. Yes. Um, so a number of us started chatting. We've kept in contact. We support each other. We promote each other's videos. Corey and Mars now have a production company that they're working on together, which is so awesome. But everyone is just so is just there for each other in such a tight-knit group and it's helped build such a large family of people that I feel close to and that I connect with um, through Swerve, which is so amazing. So it means family. There you go. Swerve series means family. Okay, what I like most about the series, oh that's so hard, there's a ton of suspense and it has this like thriller dark vibe that reminds me of movies like Donnie Darko, Fight Club. There are elements of movies that I wouldn't have anticipated in a web series. So the fact that it doesn't feel like many of the web series that I watch is very cool for me. Um, beyond that, the performances of the actors in the series are fabulous. Everyone does such an amazing job and there's just so much suspense. I never know what's going to happen. It's so amazing that I can't guess. I do like the ability to not be able to guess everything that's going to happen, uh, which is super nice. Then how did I discover Swerve? I actually think I found it on Twitter because I find a lot of things on Twitter. If I remember correctly, they may have followed, like their account may have followed me and then I followed them, like the skeleton key one, which wouldn't surprise me. Um, sometimes random web series accounts follow me because I write about web series and I do videos about web series, so it just happens that some of them follow me and th then I follow them back and then they may unfollow me, but I at least am following them. So I think that's how I found the web series. And then my predictions for the series, oh, my predictions get all over the place. Um, one, I have so many random thoughts about Elise at this point. Um, assuming you're watching this, I'm gonna guess you've watched Swerve. So spoilers, um, if you haven't, but you should. Um, Elise at the end of season two, I have no idea where she's going, but I keep weirdly thinking she knows more about what's going on than we think. Like, I don't know how she's been, like, making money or existing without a, she doesn't have a high school diploma. And I don't know what odd job she could be working. So I'm actually wondering if she's connected to this like seedy underworld element that we've been introduced to through like Mr. Nobody and Stevie and uh, two other hitmen with buckets. Um, 
So I'm really just wondering if she knows more about it than she's been letting on or if there's some element of it that she's connected to that she doesn't realize is also connected to that. I don't know. Um, that's a sort of prediction-y thing. I also think that Cassidy and Laird are going to break up. I really do. I'm not sure what will happen to Paris. Maybe she'll go hunting for Elise, but I, I, it's all very up in the air for Paris. So those are some of my predictions. I believe that's everything. So this video will go up. You should also post your own videos. Make sure that you put hashtag swerve series in the title and in your tags. You know that little tag box that you use when you post videos? Put that in there too because I don't know if it needs to be there and in the title. Um, you can also post a link to your video in the comments on the 20, on chapter 21 of Swerve season 2. There you go. Uh, but yes, there are other disclaimers and stuff in the article I'm posting below. But there you go. I've entered. You should enter. Alrighty, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of me, please subscribe. You can find me on Twitter at Clef Notes, on my blog, clefnotes.wordpress.com. I write for the Nerdy Girl Express, the Nerdy Girl Express.com, and our other Snapchat, the Nerdy Girl EXP. Bye, internet people.